This episode of Whiskey Ginger is brought to you by Rabbit Hole Distillery and their one-of-a-kind Kentucky bourbon and rye whiskeys. This sauce is a very good. Uh, a lot of people asked me over the holidays uh, about this. Uh, people came up to me at a couple of bars and were like, how is it for the price point? Delicious, phenomenal. Um, I genuinely mean it. This stuff uh, surpasses uh, many of its competitors, and I think that's due to the fact that uh, it is small batch. There's no playing around over there. This is organically small batch, 15 barrels or less. And their founder, Kaveh Zamanian, set out after a 20-plus year career uh, as a clinical psychologist to try his hand at the bourbon world. Did he do that? Yes, he did. He was uh, the, f- the fastest inducted ever into the Kentucky Bourbon Hall of Fame. This guy is on fire. Uh, they have four different expressions. This is the Cave Hill. This is the stuff that I like sip sapping on. This is the Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey right here. This is the old school jazz right in front of your face. And they also have the high gold um, and then the uh, boxer grail, which is the rye. And I know a lot of people say stuff like, oh, I'm not really a rye guy or whatever. Uh, But uh, this stuff really, really, truly is some of my favorite that I've ever had in terms of rye. Smoothness is delicious. And then finally, you know, they got that, uh, they got the Derringer here and this stuff is delicious straight bourbon whiskey finished in px sherry cast that's pedro jimenez casks for those that want to know um look it's delicious uh and don't be suspicious go give it a try for yourself they got four distinct expressions uh, you go get them all near you go to rabbitholdistillery.com slash buy now and use promo code rabbit for five dollars off your first order rabbitholdistillery.com rabbitholdistillery.com is where you can find if it's available near you it is drink up responsibly have fun What up, Whiskey Ginger fans? Welcome back to the show. If it's your first time joining the show, welcome to the show. We got a good one for you today. Like my man Steve Harvey Don say, it's Brad Williams. Brad Williams, he has a special out right now on Veeps. Go to veeps.com to check out Brad Williams' brand new special, okay? Uh, I'm working across the country trying to put together a brand new special. Me and Bobby Lee, Robert E. Lee, we're doing our final run of the Bad Friends Tour. Badfriendspod.com for those tickets. We're going to be in Atlantic City, New Jersey. Then we're going to Salt Lake City and Reno and Sacramento or Wheatland or whatever that is. But it's Sacramento. Long Beach. uh, We're doing Temecula. uh, We're doing Tucson. And then we're finishing off this whole thing in Vegas on 420. Also Canada. We're doing Niagara Falls and uh, Hamilton. So uh, go to badfriendspod.com for those tickets. Badfriendspod.com. Enough rambling from me. Let's go to the episode. In here... We pour whiskey, 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 whiskey. You were that creature in the ginger beard. Sturdy and ginger. Like vampires, the ginger gene is a curse. Gingers are beautiful. You owe me $5 for the whiskey and $75 for the horse. Gingers are hell no. This whiskey is excellent. Ginger. I like gingers. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Whiskey Ginger. My guest today is one of my favorite people on earth. I say that for all my guests, but I mean it once again today. It's Brad Williams. The only guest where you get to look at the bottom of my feet. Yeah, you get to see the bottom. Look at those while, things, while, huh? while I sit in this chair. Sketchers, baby. Are you a big Sketcher guy? They fit. Do Sketchers <laughs> customize? Uh, is there a little people shoe company? There is not. There should be. Uh, I mean, oh, sounds I, like we just found a new business. Hey, dwarf shoes. Wait, seriously? There's no little people shoe company? No, Look I look that up. I have to go to like the stores that like. Oh my god, that's so cute. There's a company called Pretty Small Shoes. <laughs> this is like... PSS Pretty Small Shoes. That's so cute. I feel like this is such a specific fetish. Like it's just like, hey, um, I have a foot <laughs> fetish, but not for adults. Not, not, not with those adult feet. Nah, with those fucking kid feet. Those man. little tiny kid. You know what's so funny though? Most feet. people that go to this website don't actually yeah. wear the shoes. They just no. they have them at their home to yes. look at. Yeah. To just to jerk look off. Look at. Yeah. 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 These are jerk off shoes. Man. Do you so ever, let's make dwarf do, shoes, Brad. What are we talking about? Why can't we make little people's shoes? Yeah. Well, like so we can have like the Air Jordan logo, but it's me just like trying to grab something from a shelf. <laughs> <laughs> just, like, ah. just trying to open a drawer. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> just me just just me struggling with a jar. <laughs> <laughs> That's the logo right there. <laughs> Was, yeah. I gotta tell you, I got jealous when you pulled into the parking lot because that What's handicap, that, that handicap, uh, it's I, sweet. man, is that great? It is that sweet. Laminate is or what? It lanyard? What would you? I lanyard, love right? it. Lanyard. So, so, so some people go, but Brad, you're not really handicapped, and I go, the U.S. government says I am. Yeah, that, wait a minute. I've seen people who get it for like, 
like like uh, uh oh you can get it for like dyslexia right you can get it for like anything <laughs> yeah you just be like i have high anxiety i, I have I, a I'm, limp I'm i have yeah. a bad limp yeah and they'll give it to you yeah exactly so no i'm taking the handicap placard and i tell you what the best part about the handicap placard is mm. i don't even really park in the handicap spots that often what's great you you could park at a meter and not have to pay wait so you don't have to ever pay for street parking no Fuck you, Newsom. Wait a minute. <laughs> You're not getting you my money. You never have to pay for street parking? Never. Give me one, dude, please. <laughs> That's insane. I, mean, I, I want that so bad. You could probably say you're handicapped as a ginger, right? Oh, my God. You know what, dude? Is this is this how we're going to do the show? Yeah, is, is this, this how we're going to do all day? Is this how we're going to fucking do all this right, show? Well, I'm going to open it up then. Okay. No, yes, I do have a. I am, I am the rarest of, of human. I was thinking Actually, what's the percentage this? of ginger versus little people? What, what percentage of the Ooh, world is I, a little person? Oh, well, I mean, you have the entire country of Ireland. So it's like no. First of all, we're more Scot, more Scots in English than we are in Ireland. We're Scots in English. World population of gingers: two percent of the world globally. Okay, two percent. World population of little people. Let's see. All right, you guys have to be more. Holy shit! You're only six hundred fifty-one thousand. Not even a million. But then the U.S. They're not you in the world globally, right? Globally. Global. Yeah, globally. Let's see if that helps, though. Uh, we don't. No, it said six hundred fifty-one thousand. That's what it was. Six hundred fifty-one thousand in the world. Wow. Wow, that's nothing, dude. That's 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 that, that that's not even my hometown. So what do they say? They really there's how many people right now? Is there seven billion people on the earth? Is yeah, that what it is? Way too many. I don't know if it's that many. <laughs> What's seven billion? Okay, seven billion. Seven billion times. What did I say? There was two percent of gingers. Yeah. So that's one hundred forty million. That's so many of us. Wow, we're at seven. We're growing way faster than we need to be. <laughs> I was thinking about this the other day, okay? Because I, I I knew I was coming on this podcast with you. Yeah. Now I don't know if uh well now I I'll be out I'll I'll be honest about this. I suffer from seasonal depression. Seasonal yeah. depression, like winter comes around, less daylight. Yeah. I get really bummed out. Sure. It sucks. Do gingers do that more because you guys don't ever go outside? Okay. You know like, what, is that Brad, part? It, like, it's is, just is this it's what all it is, the time? Dude? Is this what it is all is, day? Let it, me tell you something. When the show is over, I'm not going to help you out of that chair. <laughs> you keep this up. I'm not helping you out of that chair. <laughs> You're not going to give me a... No, because normally... I was going to put phone books on there, but I thought that was rude. Normally, you get me out by you hand me that putter, and then you pull me out of the chair, <laughs> and then I then I have to get on rollerblades. Yes, And then you we do. just go, and then, like... I uh, stay out of the sun as much as I can, and so should you, speak of the devil. You're not... Yeah. Look, you're not uh, fucking olive skinned, pal. No, I'm like I have a ginger beard. Yeah, you do. You do get a little gingery in so your I'm beard. I'm like part ginger. When I first met you, I feel like you your hair was even lighter. For some reason, you've gotten darker, which is weird. Yeah, I, I, I'm, and I'm starting to get a few grays in here, which uh, it's gonna keep going, dude. I'm okay. You're I'm gonna okay. get grayed out. I'm okay being a silver fox. I think dwarves when they get when when they go gray, we look more magical. Right, but like, can you? But you still three wishes out of you guys, right? Yeah, like, yeah. like it's still just three. You don't get bonus wishes as the grays come in. But we just look <laughs> like we know more. Like if a dwarf with gray hair came up to you and was like, "Look behind the tree in your backyard," you would run, run to that. I'd run to the tree. tree. I'd run to the tree. You, you'd be like, "I'm taking a chainsaw to that tree." Right. I'm my, finding my hope the candy. would be some of his other friends were back there working on something <laughs> for me. You know, building uh, something magical in dude. a little in, in a little workshop. If we find out time yeah. travel is real, yes. dwarves are doing it. Oh, I know for percent. a fact that little people are working on time travel. Thousand percent. There's just no doubt in my and mind. And we're not telling you. You think it's the Chinese. No. No. It's the dwarves. But what about a Chinese dwarf? Ooh. Are there any? My I mean, daughter. They, oh, that's right. She's a Chinese. Oh, my God. Yeah. My daughter's a Chinese dwarf. Boy, that's, so, dude, that's got to like, be. like actual. I didn't rent one. You know, no, no, came, he made one. He made one. He made, I made one. one. He made I'm, one. I'm dwarf. My wife is Chinese. We made an Asian dwarf baby. But is she half Chinese or full Chinese? She's half. So we got a quarter Chinese baby. She's half Chinese and half what? Uh, deadbeat dad. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Runaway. She's runaway. Yeah, one, runaway. One of those. Milk dad. So, yeah. So uh, yeah. So we have a quarter. A uh, Chinese dwarf child, which is just like everyone's like, all right, you got to save it for college. I'm like, <laughs> college? No, I don't. No. Quarter Chinese female dwarf. She's yeah. on a brochure. That's Please. a brochure, baby. Yeah. <laughs> She's getting them on. I'm already getting the offers. Stanford, Harvard, bring it on. Yeah, but the, pro the problem is, even if she's an idiot, yes, they'll let her in because they want that profile. Yes. So she's never gonna have to do anything for the rest of her life. No. She's going to get jobs. She's going to get yeah. the best jobs. Dude, okay, so I've thought about this, and this is a joke that my wife has told me I am not allowed to say on in, in the act. Never well, let said, it rip. Never said anything about podcasting, though. Yeah. So here we go. 
Here's the thing. Asian dwarf baby, right? Mm-hmm. Asian dwarf female baby. If I'm the best father in the world, she changes the world. Yeah. She introduces something, invents something, is, is is just a pinnacle of intelligence and everything like that. If I'm the worst father in the world, mm-hmm. we get the most revolutionary porn star of all time. <laughs> <laughs> I like that joke. It's a great joke. I think it's a great joke. That's She's like, do great... not put that in the universe. I'm like, eh. dude, I just found out. First of all, you're a great dad, so it's never going to happen. Yes. That's the joke. I'm around. Yes, okay? you're a very present father. I'm a father. good dad. Yes. I walk her to school. We, right. we, we played for two hours this morning. Okay? How long is that walk? Uh, uh, it, it, it's two and a half blocks, but for us. That's forever. Yeah. That's a, long, that's a long walk. That's, uh, did you ever play Candyland as a kid? We pack a Sherpa. Um, did you ever play Candyland as yeah, a kid and go, Of course. This is me. This is me. This is my walk. This is my walk. Every time I walk, <laughs> you know how like in the Billie Jean video, like the squares lit up? Lit up, yeah. It, it's just like that, but with dwarves, it's just candy, just flying out of the tiles. It just flies out. It's great. I think that joke is fantastic, and I love your wife. She's wonderful, but also she doesn't know what she's talking about. That's a great joke. <laughs> that has to go in the special. I think it's going in. Like, like it's not going in the special that's currently out. on. Yeah, uh, go get on, it right now, by the way. On Veeps, V-E-E-P-S. Veeps, like the show Veep with Julia Louis Dreyfus, except Veeps, plural with an S. Veeps, is it Veeps.com? Yes, Veeps.com slash Brad Williams. They have a bunch of concerts there and comedy specials. Like, they, like David Cross has one there. I'm up there. So, like, uh, and you don't have to subscribe. You just go. You pick out what you want. You watch it. It's free. Uh, uh, the special's not free. But, but, I mean, it's up there. Yes. You. Yes. I mean, you don't have to subscribe to Veeps. No. No, no, no. That's you, what I'm saying. You just... Pick it out. You buy my special because I wanted to bet on myself. You I, should. I, wanted, I wanted to bet on myself and say, you know what? There's enough people out there yeah. that want to see a dwarf tell jokes. Oh, my God. Do they ever? Look and, at this right now. Let me see Veeps. Go to Veeps.com slash Brad Williams. See, they got oh, Alicia whoa, Kings Keys Leon. concert. Kings of Leon. David Cross. I'm, I'm some band called Dirty Honey. I'm sure they're great. The Postal Service. Very yeah. good. And then I'm I'm there somewhere. Yeah, Brad there, Williams. There he there is. There it is. Starfish. Starfish is the name of its stand-up comedy special available right now. Why Starfish, buddy? Uh, because uh, that's the move I do when uh, my wife makes me sleep on the couch, and I'm like, no big deal. Dwarf couch, that shit's still a king-size bed. Right, that's like, actually true. And then I just hop on, straight and starfish. Oh, and I'm, I'm just spreading out. People, people think it's a joke about the anus. People yeah, well, think... chocolate starfish is what the anus is currently uh, right. Is commonly Thanks, referred to. Biscuit. Now my special is associated with butt fucking. You could just say thank, thanks, Limp Biscuit, for everything I mean, that for they've just done. About thank you, everything. Fred Durst, for everything that you've done for the community. Yes, and we released I, a special on December twenty first. Why did we choose that date, Andrew Santino? Because, because the, that's the first day of. <laughs> that's the winter solstice. It's winter solstice, the shortest day of the year. Is it really? Yeah, that's so funny. Marketing. I mean, that's really smart. Look actually. at that. That's smart. Every winter solstice, you're gonna think of Brad Williams. But let's go back for a little bit because okay. you got a little bit of se- seasonal depression. Speaking of winter, a little bit. Do yeah. you really? You getting low right lately? Yeah. You know, everyone's going through it. I just had a conversation with my buddy about this. We had a, per- I can't say who, but it, just a friend in our business who mm-hmm. who's going through it. Like he's just a he's low. And I was like, Carrot top. I yeah, think, yeah, yeah. so I don't leak my shit. I'm sorry, buddy. No, it's just a, just an old good friend of mine that, and he was just going through it. And I said, I think everyone's going through some shit. It's tough because even if things are going well in life yeah. for people, it's weird because it's family time, holiday, travel, it's overwhelming, the new year's coming. You feel all these weighted things that you kind of don't take into consideration. No, and uh, I, and my dad had seasonal depression as well, pretty bad. Like I even bought him one of those lights that, uh, that's like a fake sun Oh yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And you're supposed to like just sit in front of it. They like sell it to people in Alaska. And, and, yeah. And stuff like that. He never used it because it involved an on and off switch. Yeah, don't, uh, yeah. Dad's not going to use that shit. No, no. But it's no, nice no. that you got it. I tried. Where was he in Denver? Is that where? Yeah. Uh, no. Well, like he grew up somewhat in Denver and uh, L.A., Texas. He was all over the place. But uh, th- thankfully, always in the home. But uh, yeah. So like, I'm I'm going through a little bit, but I'm trying to. You know, surround myself with things that make me happy. One, my daughter, she's always great. She yeah. laughs. Got a 90-pound pit bull. That's cool. Yeah, bigger uh, than you. Yeah, way, way bigger than me. The photos are hilarious of you with that dog. People always ask me, they're like, are you afraid ever, like, when you're out in the road by yourself? I'm like, I sleep next to a 90-pound pit bull and a wife with multiple black belts. Yeah. I sleep great, and I'm not fearing in that scenario. Both of those people, my dog and my wife, if they decide to kill me, Nothing I could do. Yeah, it's over for you, buddy. Nothing I could do. But who cares? Whatever. It's been a good run. Yeah, hell of a run. Few, few, com- few comedy specials. 
few nice dinners with you. Yeah. That's a good. We yeah. got some more nice dinners coming up, by the we way. We got some we, more The boys' nice dinners, dinners, we were lacking pretty hard. Yeah. We usually do a boys' dinner uh, every once a month I, I would say, or so. I would say, yeah, it's every couple of months. And uh, everyone's been traveling so much, which is, brings me to my next question to you, truly, is yeah. everyone's touring constantly, nonstop. Yeah. Are you touring again? In, like, are you starting right up in the new year? I have until. I have New Year's Eve 2024 booked. Yuck. So it's That's, just, what are you doing this New Year's Eve? Where are you uh, going to be this New Year's uh, Eve? This, this, new, this New Year's Eve, I, I had the first New Year's Eve off in like my entire career. Good for you. I got a couple days before I'm at Cobbs in San, San in, Francisco. In San Francisco. And then we start the theater tour, baby. And Good then you, uh, January 6th, it, st- it starts off. Great date for our people. I was going to uh, say, that's yeah. one of my favorite. Di- I, 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 know where I'll, I know where I'll be this year, January 6th, dude. Storm it. Storm it. And we'll see there. Use promo code WHISKEY if you're going to be storming the Capitol this year. Sure. Uh, you're going to get yourself uh, 40% off hats and shirts. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, we're doing, we're, we're doing theaters this year. So Good. good. So go to bradwilliamscomedy.com. You can see the whole tour. Uh, and we're doing different countries. We haven't announced those dates yet, but we're going. To, I'm I'm coming to the UK. Uh, I'm I'm coming to Australia, and uh, yeah, it's like all year long. So when next are you going year, to Australia? Uh, it'll be in the. I don't know if it's called the fall there. Is it the fall there? No, it's not. The it's fall not? there is like um. It's our, like summer. Yeah, it's a flipped. Yeah, it's like yeah. Flipped. So I don't know, like September, October, about shit. about that time. So. I'm stoked. I'm stoked to be doing the tour, but yeah, come see me now because 2025, not going. <laughs> you're done, huh? You're gonna be. You're, yeah, you say that. Fuck that. You'll go back out. Everyone's yeah. like, I'm taking time down, and then we never do. Because we all come from that mentality where we were doing open mics and traveling. Like I once drove like four hours to uh, to make like fifty bucks. And then four you hours, and you drive four dude. I drove to back. Montana, and Montana? I lo- and, and I lost money. <laughs> Because I drove there, I got a speeding ticket on the way there and a speeding ticket on the way home. I got fucked. I lost yeah, money. We, we all we all have stories like that. Yeah, it's dirty. So man. when someone calls you up and says, "Hey, do you want to go to this place and you want to do this for?" and then they show you the check, you're like, "I can't say no to that." Well, it's work, and we worked so hard to get work, so it's hard to say no to work when your whole life was working for to get work. Yeah, it's a, it's a weird it's a weird system that we've kind of embedded ourselves in. And I thought about that the other night when I was leaving the store of like. Uh, working out new shit, yeah. you know, it's almost like you like you guys are watching me make it, build the thing. Yeah, and then by the time I'm done building the thing, sometimes you're so tired that someone's like, "Do you want to showcase the thing?" You're right. like, "Not uh, really." I'm fucking took me so long to build that I'm model. Exa- I'm so exhausted. Like, just dude. put that Lego in the closet. I'm yeah, fine. Dude. I'll just... pull it out at some point. Yeah. <laughs> now, are you the guy where like, because this is starting to happen to me, where people watch a special and Mm. then they'll write me and go hey i saw you last year same material as 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 the special you're like oh oh, 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 right yeah that's what i was doing with that i was building that hour yeah when oh see i know what you're saying right when you're touring it like say you're touring it now and then the special comes out at the end of the year and they watch the special and they're like i already saw that and you're like right you saw me making it yeah you saw yeah. me make the model and then you were surprised when the model came out also i'm sure it wasn't identical that's no, what i would say cuz stuff always changes and also uh this new tour will be different uh a different hour than the special that was uh, like so you just went through that with cheeseburger yeah. were you just like trying to get material just throwing shit at the wall and just seeing what worked yeah i mean dude i now i've got i mean i've got a ton more time now that i'll probably shoot in the summer, maybe, mm-hmm. but I, I want another six months to work it all out. Yeah, because that's it's, it's tough, dude. That that's the hardest. Like just the because because you've pushed the boulder up the mountain, it's there. You make the special. Yeah, you're, you're like I fucking did it, and then they go like, hey, all that work that you put in for the special. Now the hard part. Yeah, it's gone. Because now you got to go on tour. You got yeah, and you need a new hour. Right, you got to start all <laughs> over, buddy. No, I know, but it's hard because you're trying out like. You're trying to push as much new shit as you can while you're working out other stuff. Yeah. And it's a weird balance. I think America's pretty privy to it. Comedy fans in particular, I think they're well aware of like what the yeah. process is like now. Yeah. You know, and they I think it's I think I've had people say that it's fun to watch you build the thing. Like Brennan was helping me build something the other night. Mm-hmm. And I said, um, you know, I had this idea about uh retweeting the N word. Like is it is it <laughs> <laughs> like am I am I so not quote tweeting right so you never typed it no I just retweeted you just hit it. The I hit the button, button. right and because I, I thought I thought if I hit the heart that's condescending you know 
I have to put it back out of the universe. But I but I start God. the but we compiled it. That's how it started. Yeah. And then I then we I, Fahim and I helped Fahim and I went to go eat and we were talking about it. And then by the end of the third set, I had changed the intro and said one of my favorite rappers. Yeah. Re, uh, my favorite rapper tweeted this quote of his and it had the n-word in it and i retweeted it and i don't know how to feel about it yeah do you guys think i'm gonna get in trouble and people kind of murmur and mumble in the end i just go i i don't know man i just i really like jack harlow what can i do you know <laughs> but <laughs> but it built as the night went on the first set it was yeah. different second yeah. set it was different that's then, the fun part when, yeah when, when so i think some evolve. fans really like to watch that yeah happen some people are like what the fuck man i watched you do that on it it's like yeah. look dude when we build it and we put it on the special and we're done we're done but we also have to keep making new pieces we're not like a band i thought about that the other night you you fucking you write one song some of these bands and they're good for a decade yeah it's like no dude uh, i have to write a thousand fucking jokes over 10 years jokes. You, like what i what i wouldn't give the only one who ever did it was Burt Kreischer for a while. Just going like, nope, I'm doing the machine story. I think the only <laughs> only other person that had one joke that took off as hard as it did was yeah. Angela Johnson. Oh, right, yeah. That the, joke yeah, went viral before bit. viral was a real thing. Right. In the, in the comedy clip page space, it's like, yeah. that thing, I think it accumulated at one point, somebody told me over 50 million yeah. views. Everyone's seen the joke, and they, want, and they want her to do it. Hey, I tell people, like, if you come to my show and you're like, I wanted to hear the urinal bit, I'm like, fucking yell it out. Oh, I'll you like it. that? I don't give a fuck. Oh, so fuck. don't yell at my shows. I'm gonna, I'm opposite of Brad. <laughs> yell at, yell no, at. No, don't Andrew. yell at my shows. Tell him to do the entire <laughs> cheeseburger special, <laughs> no, word for word. I don't remember any of it. Because you, in that weird too. I don't remember any of when it. When you do, like, it's just like you, it's gone. You, you were doing it every night of your life. Yeah. For years, and yeah. then all of a sudden you put it out there, and you're like, all right. Yeah, you kind. Well, it's kind of like you get to wash yourself clean of it a little bit. That's yeah. what's really nice. It kind of you like you get to like clap your hands. You're all good to go. Like yeah. I feel like that's what I liked about putting something out. I don't know how quickly I'm gonna put out another one, but but I. How many is this for you? Five. This will be uh uh two two are on two are on Amazon Prime right now. One's on Netflix. This is four. Four. Yeah. So yeah. how many do you think you'll do? Like, do you think you'll keep Man. doing them until your career is done, or no? See, that's the thing is I'm like. I'm I'm not fascinated with being done, but I fantasize about being done. Oh, and, that's interesting. And just saying I'm good. What's your retirement plan? Uh, we we uh, uh, I just bought a mushroom. It's big enough to like hold my whole family. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> doing stick, <laughs> doing stick, Andrew. Yeah. Uh, uh, retire, dude. I fantasize about being a cruise ship comic. I do. Really? I do. That's why. I mean, you can you can be that if you'd like. Yeah, it's there. I, as long as they let me be dirty. Just well, no, that they don't let you do. You got to be clean on those things. I know, and that that part. Sucks. But uh, maybe Dirty Dwarf is kind of like a sell. I mean, just with the just with the alliteration. Yeah, Dirty Dwarf. Dirty Dwarf. You guys going to see the Dirty Dwarf tonight? Is yeah. it fucking piling on food on their plate? Yeah. Did you see Dur Dirty Dwarf on the third <laughs> tier? He's no. so good. So like. All right, so have you ever done a cruise? Have you, have you ever played comedy on a cruise? I've never played one, and I've never been on a cruise. Okay. I, 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 have, a, I have a thing. Do you not like water? Do you not No, swim? I love boats. Okay. I don't love cruises because <laughs> of the people. Because of the people, okay. Well, I just get anxiety around, like, if it's a massive group of people, like yeah. a festival, Yeah. I don't really like those because I get nervous. I get a, And then if I can't leave, All right. that's like my fucking panic attack. So okay. a cruise is like... If I get high anxiety around a lot of people and it's like I can't fucking leave, yeah. that would give me the creeps. Man. Okay, so it's you, a phobia. So you're waiting for Jeff Bezos to have his Illuminati meeting on a yacht and say, yeah. "Cheeto, here, here is your cabin yeah. on, on, on the billionaire yacht." Yeah, here, here, here I'll go your, on that. Yeah, yeah, you can helicopter off of it. Yeah. Oh, okay. So that's what you're into. I've done a few cruises. I do one every year. I just can't. Do, I get. I, I get so anxious. I, I mean, I've been offered Bert. I think. Well, I couldn't do it because we were on tour. But yeah, the few loaded. times I've been offered to do the cruises, I just um, I get panic attacks, man. Dude, uh, I I do one every year. I do the Chris Jericho Rock and Wrestling Rager at Sea. It, Shut the fuck up. Do you really? Yeah, every year. Chris Jericho throws a cruise ship party. Yes, it's wrestling. It's metal. They wrestle on the boat. They wrestle on the boat. <laughs> it's, it's amazing. They See, this is ring. actually interesting to me. Yeah. This is better than just a carnival cruise. Yeah, this is way better. Right. So, the, yeah. The, the, so Chris the, Jericho is a rocking fucking Yeah, that's, look at that shit. That's it's that nuts. boat. It's the same boat uh, that uh, that uh, Bird actually took out for his cruise. It's the same fully loaded boat or whatever. Yeah. Look at that thing. 
and That's there's a fucking wild. there's a wrestling ring in the middle of the boat. There's heavy metal concerts. There's stand up comedy. Uh, how doing, many uh, people great. go on this too? How many people are on this? Uh, you think? Th- oh, I don't know. But well, it's, how many it's people do you lot. feel like you're performing for on, on any given night? Uh, about a couple like, thousand. I do two theater shows, and that's about. I think it's like six hundred each. Okay. Th- that theater, I, I don't know, but it it's awesome, man. I love it. And people are like, yeah, but you can't leave your cabin because you get mobbed, dude. The wrestling fans are cool as shit. Like I like I walk around and everyone just is really really cool. They're buying me drinks. Uh, last, you, you can look up this video, last cruise, I actually got to g- get in the ring and give a stone cold stunner to that son of a bitch horn swoggle. Wait, you got to, they, they let you participate in the wrestling? Yeah. Were you dry? You dressed up? Uh, no, no. Well, they like, yeah, they, they looked at me, they're like, do you have any gear? And I'm like, gear. <laughs> yeah, gear? You think I came to play? I came to do shows. No, I came to do comedy. There's yeah. no gear for comedy. That's the best part about so it. So you gave, you gave a Stone Cold Sonner to who? Hornswoggler? Hornswoggler. He's a dwarf wrestler. Oh, shit. Yeah, and I don't, and I don't know if you know this, but like, cause. I mean, I definitely don't. Whatever it is, I You can find the video. I give Swoggle to Stone Cold Sonner. And just like when Sonic gets hit, all the rings pop out. Yes, that's what happened. All his gold just flew out. Re- did you now? Do you get to collect his gold? That's the rules. Right. Once, once one dwarf drops a gold, another one does. Yep. The, so if a dwarf drops a piece of gold, he's not allowed to pick it up. Somebody else no, has to get it. Then you have to wait for no, for another dwarf to get it. That's yeah. like that movie, that Justin Timberlake movie, where they could, where you take time from other people. What was that? Li- oh, uh, t- uh, timeless yeah. or limitless? Time. What? In time. That was called In Time. Was called in time. I feel time like there's pun. no fucking way that was the name of that movie. In time, in that time. was the name of the movie. You're correct. Look at that. Look at that. Killian Murphy. <laughs> Killian Murphy just he ah. Johnny Galecki. He fucking. You know what's so funny about these guys that have had like hit after hit after hit after yeah. like being a, working their whole life because he worked as a kid. Yep. He was I on, saw he I, like was on I, Roseanne. Yeah, it was on Big Roseanne. Bang Big Bang Theory. Like so. I mean, come just, on. Huh? Christmas vacation. Yeah, Christmas vacation. Oh, he was shit. rusty. Just. Keeps coming with the hits. He's been he's been working so much since he was a kid. I thought I thought about that the other day when I saw the um, the new TV show for uh, what's the kid's name? John Cryer from Two and a Half Men. You know, yeah. It was like he cashed all those checks and now he's got another hit, hit network television show. I, mean, I don't know if it's what, if it's a hit yet, but it's like you think about that, you're like, dude, fucking save some room for later, Augustus. Dude, like give it a fuck. Give, let someone else do it. If I had, you already did it. I'm 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 always fascinated with comics like. Gabriel, Sebastian, Burke, yeah. where I'm just like, if I had one year like that where I made, let's be honest, then Forbes comes out with the list, so this isn't like hidden knowledge. They make between like 20 and $40 million Those guys make a, a lot year. of money, yeah. Yeah, like if I had one year like that, pff, you're not seeing me. You anymore. say that, dude, but your you're wife is Chinese. Me. They spend money, dude. Nah, but she's She'd be like, buying property. She's like jewelry. the frugal Chinese. <laughs> frugal Chinese? Yeah, frugal Chinese, which sounds like a really good thing on the menu. I was just going to say. <laughs> uh, uh, how good is the frugal Chinese? <laughs> it's a new special. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> but yeah, man. I like not like I wouldn't be done, but I would just be Well then tell me what it is. You said you in yeah. your retirement plan, in your perfect vision in your mind, yeah. what's Brad's what's Brad's retirement plan? Oh, my perfect vision is that I just I'm I'm essentially Argus, and I just go up at the comedy store all the time. That's it. So you're yeah. kind of retired, but you just kind of pop in when you feel like it. Yeah, do the creative, and then like if 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 there's some cool gigs, like like okay, I, I want to go see the Broncos play. Great, let's pay for it. Do a show like right. near there. You know, couple gigs in Hawaii. Oh, this was great. I got I'm I did Hawaii last year. Uh, and you I'm play doing, the Blue Note. Yeah, yeah. And I'm doing it again this year, and I take the family. We go to the Disney Resort there. Oh yeah, Awani. Ah, oh, this kid. She's never gonna have. To, she can never complain for anything. I was just gonna say you're spoiling her, perhaps. I'm absolutely. Do you spoiling keep her, her caged up at home at all, or anything like oh, that? You I let mean, her run wild. It's a short leash. Yeah, it, it's a very short leash. Literally a leash. It's uh, a, yeah, an actual leash. Yeah. Now the dog, he can go around. He's proven himself. Well, yeah, he knows what he's doing. Yeah, he's fine. The kid, you know. But you the, gotta house break that kid, dude. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 the problem is, is that my wife was like, um, I might put up a baby gate over the stairs. I'm like, no, you won't, because then that's a Brad gate, too. Yeah, that's a Brad gate. But that's <laughs> I, maybe what she wants. I'm pretty peace, sure. A little bit of peace around yeah, the house. She, yeah, that's how I know that we had a big fight that day. Is like, is it come home? It's just the baby gate in front of the bedroom door. I'm like, motherfucker. <laughs> I can't get in. <laughs> I gotta learn how to pole vault, Andrew. <laughs> we gotta get, dude. I mean, you're athletic. We can get it done. I'm yeah. Sure, we can. Yeah. So you just want to just chill out, be just go pop in once in a while. Yeah. Take it easy. Yeah. That 
that's my dream. So everyone buy the special on Yeah, Veeps. please buy it so he can retire. So I so I can just retire, spend time with the kid, you know, and uh and and watch her do cool stuff. Is you this know, one of one for you or are you gonna have another one? Or you guys done? You're cooked. Yeah, that's yeah, good. We got One's one. enough, right? It's the law of diminishing returns, my friend. Right. Well, you're not gonna get anything back from that. Unless eight like unless she cures cancer or some shit. Which she might. Yeah. I don't know. Asian dwarf baby. There's do a... dwarfs get cancer as much as the, uh, the as much as we do? <laughs> You'd think that God would be like, okay. Yeah, let's not we you not got give enough. Them cancer. You got yeah. enough. Yeah, dwarf with cancer. That's like the I just saddest... figured you're lower to the ground, you yeah. don't breathe all the air that we breathe as high up as we are. Oh yeah, we never got COVID. How many dwarves have cancer? <laughs> The cancer-free dwarves, dwarves of Ecuador. Ecuador. Yeah, how, I guess how one man's youthful rebellion may unlock a cure for cancer. So the secret to a, to a, to to cancer is in little people. Well, it's got to be. I mean, I imagine if we drink your blood, there's got to be yeah. something that it does nice for us. Someone's gonna come with like a keg tap and just start like t- like tapping little <laughs> tapping little people. Yeah. Can you imagine when you donate blood and there's just glitter in the vial and they're like, "Wow, <laughs> I had no idea." It comes out looking like the mojo from Austin Powers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like purple and pink, and you're just like, "Oh shit!" That's right. Wait, 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 a joke, shit. Yeah, we a joke, shit. We just get the blood. Oh, this is nice. Your little goal. Cockney accent. This is a Michael kind. Because he, he, he was in Austin Powers. This is right? really good. Is it okay, Michael Kite? Okay? Yeah. It's very is he, is it very You sound easy. like a baby doing it, though. It sounds yeah. like a little... It's Michael a baby. Kite. It's basically a, a baby with a four-pack-a-day habit. Oh, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah Cockney yeah. baby with a four-pack-a-day habit. Now, oh, God, now I almost slipped into Jason Statham. Because, like, like all right, so Michael Kite, okay, he's up here, right? <laughs> It's not like you have fucking shit in your mouth. <laughs> That's the secret. Michael card. Okay. All right. Here's how you do. This is an old joke. It's not mine. Uh, this is how you do a Michael Caine impression. Say the words my. My. Say the words cocaine. Cocaine. Put them together. My cocaine. There you go. My cocaine. My, my cocaine. <laughs> but, you, but it's got to be more my cocaine. <laughs> it, it, the internet is sure that I use uh, Adderall and or cocaine. The internet Ooh. constantly is like. Adderall Santino at it again. You know what's so That's fucking... That's a fun one to play, like, what drugs are th- are those celebrities on? Well, you know what the funny thing is? Yeah. I've literally never taken Adderall once in my entire life. I've never tried cocaine. I've never tried Adderall. You and I both. Isn't that wild? I've never taken an Adderall pill. All never right, once. let's do it right now on this podcast. I, I kind of want to try Bring Adderall. Bring in the pile. <laughs> I want to try Adderall because people always say how they love it. People yeah. People fucking love it. But also... I'm already I'm already a booze bag. I don't need yeah, you another have, vice. You have I have vice. my shit. Yeah. I'm all yeah, same same with me. I I'm always scared I'll really like it. Yeah. Ari Shafir has been trying to get me to do mushrooms for as long as I've known. I do that, like man. mushrooms. I've never done them. Oh, really? I've never done mushrooms. I'm mm. I'm worried of like I go to a place and then I can't come back. That that that's what I'm scared of. I'm a little worried of doing mushrooms with you. I mean, yeah, because what do I morph into at that point? No, not morph. It's just, it's just, I, I, I need, I need, I need to get all the secrets out of you. <laughs> By the way, like, he knows. I know he knows. <laughs> this is why God did this right now. He put us together because he's going to tell me all the things I need this to hear. This is why he has yeah. all the answers. Hell, he's he doesn't. Hell, he doesn't even get cancer. Ari will, <laughs> Ari will, uh, Ari will convince you to get into some trouble. He's very good at that. Yeah, yeah. He was tell, he was talking to me one time. This is back. This is back at the store, and then. Brian Simpson heard him say that he wanted to get me to do mushrooms, and Simpson came in like, "Okay, Brad, no, I've got you." And he just like he had like flow charts, like he <laughs> he was like really into. It. So so many comics just want to get me to do drugs. It used to be when I was younger, everyone would just try to get me drunk because yeah. like and I it is ch- fun to get you drunk. It though. is fun. You are a funny drunk. Oh, uh, and, and 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 the n words are so cute when I say them. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> In here, we pour whiskey, whiskey. Hey, I got a lot of subscriptions, okay? Far too many. I don't want to name all of them, but you know you're subscribed to all that stuff. Netflix and Max and and uh, and Discovery Plus and Disney Plus. And I don't, I don't even know how many I have. It's absurd. Um, and if I asked most people, I don't think any of them would know either. And a lot of times, especially at the end of the year, we would just found out, you know, money has been flying off the shelf. The government's like, give me, give me, give me. Um, and I've been charged uh, for stuff that I don't even use anymore, and I had no idea. That's why Rocket Money is here to help. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps you lower your bills. Rocket Money has over 5 million users. That's a lot of people. 
and has helped save its members an average of $720 a year with over 500 million in canceled subscriptions. I saved myself a couple hundred bucks from Rocket Money. Thank you to them for that, for fishing out some stuff that I didn't even know I signed up for, some apps that, quite frankly, continue to charge me, which shouldn't be legal. But you've been here. I know you have, especially if you're downloading stuff and trying stuff out for trials. Um, stop wasting your money on things you don't use. Rocket Money can help you get through this. All right, Cancel your unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash whiskey. Stop wasting money on things you aren't using. What are we talking about? Stop wasting the money on things you don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash whiskey. That's rocketmoney.com slash whiskey. Rocketmoney.com, I think you heard it, but just in case, it's slash whiskey. This episode of Whiskey Ginger is brought to you by Squarespace. Often I have talked about Squarespace because they're the place if you're creating a site. I've created my first couple of sites using them, then I hired other people to do it because they're smarter than me and I'm an idiot and I don't have the time to do it, quite frankly. But if you are creating your own site on your own, whether you're selling something, promoting yourself, uh, or you just want to show people your art, um, if you're a personal trainer or if you're a dog walker or an artist, uh, an engineer, uh, and you want to put your stuff out there to the world for other people to either purchase, engage, um, or just straight up like, you got to try Squarespace. Uh, they have so many uh, customizable parts of the of Squarespace that I think are very impressive. If you're selling merch, they got you know you can sell custom merch on there, create passive income for yourself. Um, they have an online store, which is so fluid and seamless. It's beautiful. Um, an ab asset library. You can upload, organize, and ex access all your content from one place. So it, it makes things much more seamless and simple and beautiful when you're creating your own site. Um, and my favorite by far, I've talked about this, is the analytics. I love finding out where the users are coming from. You can use these insights to help grow your business and learn where your site visits and sales are coming from to you know analyze which channel is the most effective for you, your company, or whatever you're doing. Um, and improve your website and build a marketing strategy based on your top keywords, most popular product, or content. So you can really pull from where people are and find out uh, where you sell the best. Uh, and that's what I use to try to find out where you guys are to come see you on tour. And so if you're someone that's looking to build a site, uh, if you're confused on what to do, go over to squarespace.com for a free trial. When you're ready to launch, uh, go to squarespace.com slash whiskey to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Okay, once again, squarespace.com. Try it out. When you're ready, go to squarespace.com slash whiskey to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Ginger. I like gingers. You are very fun to get drunk because yeah. you... Um, the way you hobble wobble and bounce around, <laughs> it's just, dude. Yeah. It's like those, you know those balloons that you'd punch? You know those yeah. like clown balloons you'd punch and they wobble? We, you keep your wobble, center gravity. but they don't fall down. Yeah, yeah. that's right. You Low never fell. center of gravity. Don't fall, but man, do I get close. Man, you wobble, dude. Do I get close? People, people, people just watch me like that screensaver where the <laughs> square is going around the corner. You're like, it's going to hit the corner. It's going to hit it the corner. It never does. See, I'm like, Brad, Brad's going to fall. Brad's gonna fall, but you don't ever fall. Do. I've never seen you fall down. No, Even ass. when I've gotten really tanked with you, I've never seen you really like. No, big ass anchor. Yeah, that ass is so thick. That's yeah. why when you got to took us like that, you're never oh, gonna. It's not gonna. And even if I fall, who cares? You bounce right back yeah. up. Yeah, it's like a darn. It's like it's like a darn balloon. That thing. It's crazy. It is a big puffer for people at home. Uh, there's got to be pictures of it on the internet. I mean, this thing is just like sure. a fucking shelf. I can start an OnlyFans. Why wouldn't you? Between my ass and my feet, I can make some money and never have to actually yeah, get naked. Yeah, dwarf ass and foot. Yeah. <laughs> dwarf ass foot. Go to OnlyFans.com slash... There oh, it is. There, there's my dumper. Guy's got a big shitter. <laughs> you know it's what's so funny great. is you could actually start an OnlyFans and be very successful and not have to show anything nude. No. Like, like okay, so I I have really disgusting feet. Uh, I have, uh, like, a hobbit foot. Like, I got hair coming on the top. Do you, do you do you have hair on the top of your foot? Yeah, on my toes, but it's not excessive. It's just like a little bit. Yeah, I got like a hair top. I got a hairy top like, of the foot. You have like a Sasquatch foot. Yeah, <laughs> holy it's shit! A very small Sasquatch. Foot. Yeah, well, you're not a you're not a hairy guy though. <laughs> Are you really? I got hairy ish. But look at your arms. Yeah, but that's like that's not that bad. But I got hairy ish. You got a hairy ish. I I got a hairy back. Hairy back. It's not. I got, I, so I got you got hairy little feet. hairy feet. Yeah, there's got to be a fetish feet. for that. Somebody loves that shit. All right, you know what? This this this. this oh no. This is what we're gonna do right oh, now. Oh no. This is what we're gonna do right oh, now. We're no. gonna break the damn internet, Andrew. And now I'm gonna. Th th this is how nice little ad for Hanes. Uh, this is how. That, that's not that bad. That's not that bad. 
No, oh, that's but then I got these as... little raptor toes. They like you curl do up. have such little tiny feet. <laughs> look at those! Look at those unbelievably tiny little yeah. feet. Yeah. Uh, see, th- this is why it's really hard. like this is why I'm wearing the Skechers. It's really hard for me to find the good uh, shoes that don't have cartoon characters on them. I get it. Yeah. I get it. And do you want to put your shoe back on now? Because I'm I not. Know. I don't want to throw up on the show. Feeling very free. Oh. Feeling very free right now. It's they just... are freaking me out. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Something about them is tripping me out. I don't even know what it is. If I no, don't do it. Get out of here, Brad. Get out of here, Brad. Get out of here. That is so funny, man. That your uh, that it's your a- feet don't look like they're your feet. <laughs> <laughs> you know when you're super fucked up and you look at your hand and you're like, whose hand is Who's, that? Whose hand is that? Yeah, no, my foot looks like that. It's just like like my foot. Looks like my left. Foot. Whatever is attached to it is definitely going to make you solve a riddle. Yes, like that's. Yeah, are you good at anything like that? At crosswords, or are you good at wheel of fortune? Oh, you know what? I'm, I'm addicted to this thing now. Immaculate grid. Do you play immaculate grid? Immaculate grid. Immaculate grid. Okay. I never heard of this in my entire life. It's a, fo- a cell phone game. Is an iPhone game? I do it. I do it for. I do it for football. So you could do it for baseball. It start off with baseball. But yeah, so you do it for football. So okay, so here's a grid right here. So the top left square, that's you have to find a player that played for the Patriots and the Bills. Okay. So and then you put that person in. But you only get 9 guesses and you got in and, and you and you and, and you got to get all those right. So this is like what's that game called? What this is like the word game that people Wordle or whatever. Yeah. This is like the Wordle for sports. Yes. Oh, that's okay. kind of cool. So for like so for Raiders and Bills, you you could do Marshawn Lynch. Right. So he so he played for both. But now you can't use Marshawn Lynch again anywhere else. Ah. And you o- and and you only get 9 guesses. And could, do you sir do you solve the immaculate grid every time? No, but uh it's just fun. That's what I do every day. Every day. This is kind of keeping your brain fresh. Yeah. Does it tell you when you're wrong? Yes. Okay, so, that's that's interesting. Yeah. So I I do it for football, but they have it for NBA. NBA in my opinion is really easy because it's just Vince Carter every time that you yeah, play for yeah. like every 10 teams every well team. also NBA everybody play, no one's no one has a loyalty to a city anymore they all play all yeah they, I mean LeBron's played for what four teams uh, how three? many teams three no yeah well yeah he, uh, he did Cleveland twice right I so, guess yeah. that doesn't yeah, that's, yeah. All, that's still the same one yeah but then you got like yeah you like got, got guys like James Harden that's just with a new team every year so it's like yeah it's crazy yeah so I I like doing football because then and then it's a little bit more challenging. Yeah, and then you can go deep dive where you see that little percentage right above Marshawn Lynch's name. Thirty eight percent. That's so, how many people got it correct. That's how many people chose Marshawn Lynch. Oh, cool. Of the people that got it correct, that's how many people chose Marshawn Lynch. Wow, that's wild. So you try to get your number really low to where like if you if if you can find an offensive tackle that like played for both teams, you're like fuck yeah. That's really hard to do. Yeah, but so, if you're that kind of guy, you're that kind of guy. Yeah, so you're that, a Denver Broncos fan though, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, bummer. <laughs> I mean, dude, I'm a Bears we're fan. I'm not bragging. Back. No, it's a we're, bummer. We're coming back. Well, you've got Mr. Uh, Mr. Unlimited. Mr. Unlimited. Maybe one of the most embarrassing videos I've ever seen in my entire Mr. life. Mr. Unlimited. Mr. Unlimited, if, for people that don't know, is it's uh, the, the head quarterback of the uh, Denver the Broncos. Head quarterback. The head quarterback is the best way to say it. <laughs> Uh, Cause he's not a he's not what he used to be. No, he Russell Wilson did a whole thing called Mr. Unlimited, where he was doing a promo video. He wanted an alter ego, and he was like, "I'm Mr. Unlimited." Uh, yeah. It might be the most uncomfortable video I've ever seen in my yeah. entire here, life. Here we go. Everybody has to have an alter ego, right? And, and I've been thinking about what my alter ego would be, and I, I I think I have an alter ego. His name his name's Mr. 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 Unlimited. Yeah, you gotta be unlimited. Turn it off before I throw up. Turn it off. I mean, if, if, dude, it, like it makes By me. By the nauseous. way. I, it's one, so fucking uncomfortable. One of it's my insane. favorite things, Mister Unlimited. <laughs> There's no way. I yeah. can't believe he recorded that and then was like, "Fuck it, yeah, I'm putting it out." By the way, I love it when people just say a statement like it's just a just an easy fact. When you're like, "No," and like politicians do it all the time. They just create the problem that doesn't exist so they can solve it. But right there is a prime example where he goes, "Everyone needs an alter ego, right?" No, no, what? No one no. does. No, nobody does. No one needs an alter ego. Nope. What are you doing? Yeah, you're and, good. And he just says that like, "Yeah, everyone just goes around and has these has these alter egos." Tiger Woods had one too. Uh his his was like called like Big Daddy T. Yeah, but that one I'm okay with. 
<laughs> the guy stormed through fucking every uh, Waffle House employee in the United States. Yeah, uh, uh, Big Daddy T like wears like a like a Raiders Santa hat or something like that. I I don't know. Why I do I like Big Daddy T as a nickname. Not gonna lie, Big Daddy T. There he is. Damn. So that's Tiger. his Christmas persona, Big Daddy T. <laughs> It is kind of crazy that this guy w- is w- was a fuck machine. I mean, yeah, you know I mean, like this guy was a fuck machine. He's such machine. like a sweet nerd from the public eye. Yeah, you would never be like that guy's not a fuck machine. And 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 he didn't have like social interaction as a kid. Like he just was on the golf course like all the time. I, I don't know if you saw the Tiger Woods doc. Oh yeah, HBO. it was dark. Yeah, it was dark, man. You're like, oh yeah, I get how this guy. Got like when he's he, he's like asking Michael Jordan like how how do you talk to women and and Michael Jordan goes well first of all you say hi I'm Tiger Woods yeah that kind of does everything like that, that kind of helps yeah just a little bit that's a ni- that's a nice status point to reach where you, you can just walk up to someone and be like hi I'm your name I'm and Tiger then, Woods and then that and, and they go yeah yeah I know yeah I would... what's the what's the tallest woman you've ever dated Brad oh five eleven. Five uh, eleven. She was a uh, volleyball player at USC, and yeah, five eleven. Yeah, and I'm four foot four. And so, how does this even? Ha- how do you? How does this happen? <laughs> how does this happen? Uh, how does a five eleven girl is like? I love my short kings, I, but I love what? my. So if a short king, you can't be a short king. What are you? No, because like that's I, I hate that term short king because like you have like five foot five guys being like I'm a short king. It's like. You're a foot taller than me. You're a fucking foot <laughs> taller. That's like th- that's like when like uh the like Kate uh, like Kate Upton will be like, "Oh, I feel so fat." All right. You're like, "Fuck, Fuck you. you." Like yeah. like if, if you're fat, what's uh like say it. Go ahead. Mama June. I thought you were going to go down like like Lizzo or something. I thought that's what you were going to do. So I was like, <laughs> ah, Lizzo, that's the go-to. That was kind of like a little, yeah, little bit yeah, of Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's a little easier. I'm not being mean. It's it like, was that's right, right there. there. I mean, yeah. well, what and the plus, fuck? Mama June lost the weight anyway. She did the whole mommy makeup. Who the fuck thing. is Mama June? Am Mama I June insane? Carter? Hun- hun- uh, hun- Honey Boo Boo's mom? Oh, sure, right. Honey Boo Boo. Yeah, yes. one yeah, of the, yeah, yeah. One of the greatest uh, cultural icons of our time. Yeah. She lost a ton of weight, huh? Yeah, she got a, like, a mom. That's not the over. same That's fucking not the, woman. No. But how, how much weight did she lose? She did. She did. She did. She did surgery. Lap band or what did she? What's the other one called? Uh, Ozempic. She's on Ozempic. <laughs> on the Oz. Yeah, it so to me that's what it's like when like short king When kings somebody are says like, short king. Oh, I'm a short king. I'm 5 foot 5. I'm like that what there's you can still do everything. Yeah. Pants are in your size. Yeah. Like you're not a short king, but all although someone was talking to me about this the other day where it's like they they, they said Brad, you have you have the advantage cuz like a 5 foot 4 guy, mm. they're just tiny. Yeah, tiny they're guy. They're just Tiny, like yeah. it, like it, like it, like it just looks like they didn't try hard enough. Well, it's not their fault, Brad. I know Jesus it's not, Christ! But that's what they look like. But then me, it's like, oh no, he's got a condition. There, well, there's yeah. a reason why he's that small. Right, you're a gift. And yes, and it comes all the way around from being like bad to like all the way around the circle and comes back to being good again. It's I, good again. Yeah. So it's like I, I had that, but yeah. Uh, but I'm I'll, a, I'll say this though: short king yes. is a weird term because who was the tallest king? I bet you kings were all that size. Okay. So when you go short king, tallest king. Uh, well, who was the Xerxes? tallest king? <laughs> Xerxes, according to the the three hundred, which is a completely Six accurate one? movie. So he's what? my size. Six one. Who say who was the tallest king? I'd love to know who was the tallest king. Yeah. How? How not? <laughs> the Bible's still around. What the fuck do you yeah, know? Yeah, exactly. I mean, the term of foot. The tallest measured British monarch was Edward the. What is that? Six. Uh, one one minus four. So four. Four, no fourth. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Whose skeleton measures six feet four inches? Six foot four. Records indicate that when fully clad in armor, he would have been about six foot seven, an exceptional height for any man, especially at that time. That's fucking dope, my dude. By the way, that's terrifying. A, a, a guy coming at you six foot seven. That's armor. So cool. I, mean, I would love to know who's the shortest. It's king. not Napoleon. Who's the original short king? Yeah, because everyone thinks Napoleon was short. He wasn't actually that oh, short. He's five five, right? Shortest height king, five four. See, five. See, Charles the first. Yeah, there you go. He's five four. Five Little... four. That's a foot taller than me. That's the shortest king. That is a short king, though. A foot taller than me. We got there's. I'm not a short king. You're it, not. It, it, it's something. We need a new different. term. I uh, big dick Magoo. 
Uh, no. <laughs> what was the one we said for the cruise ship? The Dirty Dwarf. <laughs> the Dirty Dwarf. I do like the Dirty Dwarf. I don't dwarf. like the connotations of that. <laughs> yeah, the Dirty Dwarf. No, no, you know what I mean. The shortest British monarch in adulthood was Queen Victoria. She was five feet tall. Five feet tall. Still six, s- seven inches. Seven inches taller than me. God, dude, both Edward Longshanks, what a name, and Richard the Lionheart. Edward were over Longshanks. Feet. They were the ugliest fucking people. They fucked so many of their family members. They just looked so misshapen, but they, they were, but they still had they, height. They got that jaw though. They 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 got that inbred jaw. We look the jaw just comes. Yeah, inbred come, jaw. Yeah, you, you come full. Yeah, it always looks like a an English bulldog. Yes, you come full of like this. Like everyone inbred is gonna be named Nigel. Nigel. Oh, give you're going to do great in England. Do give, all this stuff in England. Give me an inbred name, Nigel. Yeah, what's the most inbred name? Uh, <laughs> Cletus. <laughs> Cletus is probably a pretty common inbred name. What's the most inbred name? <laughs> this Google history. America's inbred how, family. How the, how the FBI hasn't just descended into this room well, based I'll tell on you, this Google it, well, uh, history? Everything we're searching is stuff that's already been searched. That's very that's very true. That's what's funny. When you search something like that, you're like, well, somebody already looked at it. Yeah. The Whitakers, the most inbed, inbred family. The Whitaker. Look at this. This is great. The extremely inbred family. They This is as depicted a video. From West Virginia. What? Get out of town. No. Oh, yeah. Soft White Underbelly did a whole thing about them. I've seen this. Yeah, it's pretty sad. Oh. I think Bob and I have talked about this on Bad Friends, these people. Okay. It, it's the most inbred family. They're They're... It's 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 uh, it's crazy. Oh, now so, most of them, most of them can't even speak or communicate. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, that's the hills have eyes. Yeah. Oh no! Yeah, it's wild. That is. Oh my god! Then the wild shit is, uh, and they just keep doing that. Yeah, you gotta. Once you start, you can't stop. I guess I mean, that's like Pringles. In, inbreeding. It's like Pringles. <laughs> Once you start, you can't stop. It is. A, it is kind of fucking absurd that that's a real thing. Oh, man. Can you imagine when they finally made inbreeding illegal? You know what I mean? Like, for years, it wasn't against yeah, the law. it was just fine. And then finally, somebody was like, okay, th- this enough. Enough. This is enough. We can't do this. Yeah. What, what, yeah. The, what, when did it become illegal? When did they make it illegal? What well, year? I, well, I'm sure it's like, states' rights. It's fine. <laughs> Wait, the government, federal government abolish the prohibition in 2010, arguing the few cases where a person convicted of incest three since 1984. Wait, so it's 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 been abolished now. You you just googled the legality of incest. Why are they not descending on this room? Why is Chris Hansen not just opening your door right now and be like, "Sit down, have a can seat. I talk to you for a second? We have your laptop here. Have a donut. The best part is I make him bring his laptop to the show instead of mine, which is great. We used to use mine. Now I'm like, nah, bring in yours. Nah, bring in yours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is kind of absurd to think about that though. It took him so long to be like, okay, this is a cut bad it out. Thing. It still varies by state. That's disgusting. So some states it's still legal. So you just look at your sister and be like, All Ukraine, right. it's legal in Ukraine. And yeah. that and that's why we should stop funding these people. <laughs> <laughs> they're just promoting it while they yeah, got Yeah, well, Jesus Christ. I mean, we're giving they these people make money, more, they're fucking their sisters. They gotta make more soldiers to fight Russia. That's why Thailand doing it's it. legal, not surprised. South yes. Korea, not surprised. Mm-hmm. You ever fucking hung out with Bobby Lee for fifteen Bobby. minutes? Bobby. Him and his brother get along really well. <laughs> Dude, uh, that is absurd how many countries it's not illegal. That's yeah. fucking insane to me. We're, we're, we're just like, wow, you you do you. It's like, well, you kind of are. Yeah, you are. <laughs> yeah, you, you are do doing you. you. That's where the phrase comes from. <laughs> you do you. You do you is for incest. <laughs> I, you know what the etymology of all these phrasings? I saw on the internet this morning, somebody told me mm-hmm. there's phrases that we use colloquially, but they're racist and we don't even know it. Sure. Someone said there's one, the tipping point. You know, when like when something's at yeah. its tipping point, right? Do you know what this is in reference to? No. This could be bullshit. Okay, but somebody said the tipping point etymology was when, um, well, this says in the condiment the oh. term tipping point became synonymous with white flight. White right. Flight. This, okay, this is what I was literally going to say. This is funny. Oh. It means when when enough uh, minorities had moved into a neighborhood, it was the tipping point of percentages where yeah. people would leave the community. Okay. And I was like. That can't be true, but it fucking is right there. Wow. Middle of the 20th century, the term tipping point began to sound with white flight. Neighbors started to de- started to uh, desegregate. White people reached a tipping point when they would think there were too many black people present in their community. Fuck, that's real. So I saw it on the internet this morning. Oh and I my thought, God. how many people use the term tipping point in a business room setting? Yeah. 
You know what I mean? And yeah. it, and and you say it so so Just passively, so casually. Yeah, it doesn't sound like a racist. Yeah. It doesn't sound like it comes from something racist. No, to me, it, to me, it just sounds like you're on a scale. I think breaking point, tipping, and breaking to me seems yeah. like the same. Seems like the same. same, same no, thing. but we can't use it anymore. No more. What's breaking point from? I don't know. Like, what's I'm at my breaking point. That can't be. I feel like if you look etymology, yeah. I feel like if you look at the history of just about anything, <laughs> it's going to come back with some it, racist it, it's shit. It's coming back bad. Well, yeah, you know, for sure when for sure when something is like, uh, you know, when it's something sounds, uh, uh, you know, when someone's like, um, uh, la di da, you're like, that's got to be fucking. You know what I mean? When anything, when anything is sing songy, it's got to be yeah, racist. Well, well la di da, it's like that was what they called mentally handicapped people. La di da's are over there. Yeah, fucking la di da. All these fucking la di da's outside <laughs> chewing on their shoes. Yeah, that's what's so funny. You know, all these sing songy things for sure came from something yes. negative. There, there, there's so many. It's like, and then like as a white person, we know that if you look back into the family long enough, not me, dude. Not you. Not maybe you. Well, yeah, my mom's from Georgia, so. Uh, yeah, maybe yeah. you, pal. Not dude, us. Dude, my mom moved from don't, Georgia. Don't throw me in your pool. <laughs> what? It's a kiddie pool. It's fine. It is a kiddie pool. Yeah, it's, it's the only one I could touch the ground. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I went to a, ho- a holiday party with, uh, with uh, my daughter and uh, my nephew and they had all this stuff for kids they had all like the bounce houses and stuff sure i was the only adult going in there <laughs> shut the fuck up you went in i have a video on my phone of me going <laughs> down the slide i climbed up i I wanted to race my nephew yeah so i'm going up there and i'm going down the slide did and, you win and uh, no nah, my nephew's god he's, got he's good he's got skills he's gonna be a he, 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 he's gonna be something that kid but uh yeah I, but you saw the other dads just like looking at me like son of a bitch like, I well, can't... everybody wishes they could do it. Yeah, you go, we outgrow it. Like the ball pits that used to be at McDonald's. Yeah, if somebody saw you in there, it's like he's a grown man, but he looks like he's having fun. Yeah, and I feel like I should just let him. It's fine. Jump in the ball pit a few like, times. The, yeah, the the sign just says have to be below this a certain thing. height. That's right. They don't say have to be below fourteen years old or whatever the <laughs> hell thing. So I'm just <laughs> hopping in. It's great. Cakewalk, I do know. I've no. talked about this. Yeah, no. What's I've, cakewalk? It's a, uh, a dance Why can't I use cakewalk? No, no. This is actually, I've talked about this on this show before. Oh, uh, no. A, a, a black slaves uh, would mock the way that white people danced. I've talked about this on this show. Oh. Yeah, because they would have these dinner parties and the cakewalk would, it's actually not racist. It's the opposite. Is it black people making fun of white yes, people? Yes, exactly. Making fun well, of white Well, that's how, okay, then. Right. Cakewalk is actually the opposite. It's actually funny. Oh my dude! Uh, yeah, they would mock the way that white people would do would dance after when yes. cake and tea were being served and dancing would start. They would mock the way the whites danced. Oof! Which I got to tell you, all for it. That's funny. That's just <laughs> fucking good old fashioned punching up. You yes. know what I mean? That's yes. good old fashioned That's punching fine. up, dude. Yeah. Okay, like so. I'm surprised Tarantino hasn't made a movie called Cakewalk. Oh, that was his last one. It is funny, you look back, you're like, this guy is obsessed with racism. He <laughs> finds a way to say the N-word. <laughs> In every movie. Every movie. Yeah, every movie. And he just hides behind, it's the art, man. Hey, like, man, it's he, art. Like, well, I mean, and, and also, he's notoriously in defeat as well, so he's probably watching that video that- He's probably watching this podcast looking at your fucking yeah, feet. Yeah, looking at the foot like, I could put him in a film. A little dwarf foot. I can he make that foot walk across cookies. Foot. Oh my God. <laughs> just squishing the chocolate chips in between. You know what cookies you'd be walking over. Oh, yeah. Something the Keebler Elves. Keebler. Yeah, Keebler Elves. Fudge Shop, baby. Fudge Shop, baby. Fudge Shop, baby. Oh, my God. I, that's that's going to be my only fans. Just my hobbit foot <laughs> squishing Keebler cookies. <laughs> <laughs> Just getting chocolate all over them. <laughs> Making feet so disgusting. Ugh. Brad, here's the one thing I'll say about you. We've okay. known each other for so long. Yep. And, and whenever we do go out to dinner, mm-hmm. I am shocked, stunned, impressed. Mm hmm. Of how much you can fucking eat, yeah. <laughs> like you, like it's it's it, every single time I'm always like, in my mind, <laughs> r- rudely I'm like, Brent's gonna eat half of that. He's not yeah. gonna eat that fucking whole thing. Wow. You'll get a 32 ounce steak. I throw it down and fucking eat it, <laughs> and it also down. have the fucking seafood tower. Yes. And salad, yes. soup. Yes. Four fucking alcoholic drinks. Yes. Dessert. Yes. I'm sh- oh, gotta have shocked. butter cake. I'm like, dude, this guy. I put it down. It's crazy to yeah. me. Yeah. Well, dude, like that. And here's the here's the thing you get to experience as a little person that's very cool 
is you get to experience anytime I accomplish something, there's always an average sized person next to me, like, motherfucker. Yeah. Like, yeah, like, just, yeah, like, yeah I, I just make them feel like shit. Like, like okay, so I, I fly a lot. So yeah. uh, oftentimes I try, I try to stay brand loyal. I get the upgrade. You know, they throw me up the first class. Sure. And I get the upgrade. I love it. Not yeah. because of my experience. I love just sitting there and watching everyone board the plane and look at me in a first class seat with all the wasted room that I'm not <laughs> using and just sitting there like, look, what will I do? When the flight, when, what like, will I do? When the flight attendant comes down, room? does she try to tuck you in the overhead or no? You're like, no, no, no. <laughs> Please put the dwarf sideways. Yes. Uh, put him vertical like a book. Yes. Yeah. Vertical put him like, like a book. the book. Heels first. <laughs> heels first. That's what you Wheels and heels first, please. Yeah. Turn him. Yeah. Uh, that's my favorite. You part in about first class. Upgraded. You know what's funnier? You in those fucking uh, the lay flat seats. Like when you know the global lay flat oh, seats. Oh, the global lay flat seats. That's, uh, that must. That's a bed. That's a fucking it's twin a bed for bed. you. Bed. It goes out. I throw like my bag down by my feet. I got room. It's like another storage facility for me down there. Oh my god! If you go to my car right now, because my I have the pedal extenders that go. Oh yeah, up. I remember the first time I saw that when we yeah. when we first knew each other. Yeah, and I was like, like you gotta got to let see. me look in the car. <laughs> I do. I do. I go, dude. You gotta let me see how the pedals come out. I gotta, I gotta see what know. they look like. Yeah. So like the pedals go up. So oftentimes I use that bottom area storage. I just throw shit down yeah, there. Yeah, because what I mean. Well, also be careful if something gets stuck under the get under the brake. That has happened. <laughs> oh, Brad. <laughs> I've had some. I've had some. And cars don't have e brakes anymore. No, they're all digital now. Yeah. They're all like, Woo. they're like, where's the fucking button? I miss an old fucking e brake yeah. yank, dude. Just we used to just to yank. We it. used to yank that on my first car. My friends would do that. When we were driving, which is not good. <laughs> not good. But it was fun as fuck to do that. Oh Your my car God. has an e brake still. It's gotta see. I'm. The good I'm old sure days. one car, one guy that was like an was like an engineer. Was having a was driving down the road, having a fight with his wife, and she just grabbed the e brake and was like, "Fuck this!" and like yanked it. He's like, "No, nope, we're getting rid of these." Yeah, things. Exactly, that's right. We're never getting, again. Never again. It's gonna be a button on the far left side. Yeah, way far my, away. It's, from it's you. funny. My car now it's not even a button. It's a um. It's a uh uh. uh it's, it's like a in the program, like you. Push. It's an Alexa command. Alexa, yeah, save my yeah, life. It is <laughs> fucking crazy that you can't physically. The shit. Oh, it's a oh shit break. My dad used to say the oh yeah. shit break. Yeah. But like now, if there's an oh shit moment, you can't even fucking do that for safety. Isn't that weird to think there's no? Because if you push the digital button of your e brake now mm -hmm. while you're driving, I guarantee you it wouldn't activate. No, it's like some sort of lock system where it's like, well, yeah, but we have the sensors that will. Sense if yeah fucking right yeah uh, yeah fucking right that I'm not I, I don't get behind any of that like all my friends that have Teslas and all that stuff that are like oh dude the the self driving I'm like no fucking way I just need, if I die at the hands of the wheel I want to be responsible has to be I don't want the machine to kill me on accident right because it forgot to fucking whatever no I, thanks I don't fear death I fear a death where right before I die I go mother. Fucker. Yeah, exactly. Like, like, just this is how it goes. Well, like you remember when you were a kid and you were like either like skateboarding or rollerblading or on a bike or like something yeah. with wheels, and you know the moment you hit something and you're about to fall and yeah. your brain goes, "Damn it!" Like yeah. that, <laughs> that feeling of like, "Fuck, this is gonna hurt." Yeah, that that's that. That's you can't. You don't want to die like that. No, where no. like the last thing is, you know, where I'm like. Yeah, I got this new e-bike. I don't have to wear a helmet. Yeah. And then as soon as Shit. I hit the thing, like <laughs> right before my brains get scattered over the pavement, I'm just like, God damn, damn it. it. You know, and here's the thing I think about constantly is and I'm giving your I'm giving your listeners, viewers, I'm giving you guys all permission. Hmm. Whenever I go in whatever the social media is, Twitter, X, whatever is po popular. Who cares, yeah. Let it fly. What do you mean? Make fun of you. Make fun. Oh yeah, shit on you. I know that that's gonna happen. No matter no no matter what happens to me, no matter how I go, like if 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 if, if I'm I, already thinking of a few right now. Yeah, like if I die in a car accident, someone's gonna post a video of like a micro machine running into a shoe or, or, or like something. <laughs> like, <laughs> burp, here, here here here's footage of Brad's car. Burp, like just that's gonna happen. I know it's gonna happen. Okay now. now yeah, so many are going through my head right now. <laughs> I mean, do it. But well, bless you. He's he's three feet down. Yeah. He's three feet down on the ground. A oh, shallow grave, just a regular grave yeah, for you. Just a regular grave, and I saved so much money on the coffin. He was digging a shallow grave for his dwarf victims. <laughs> yeah, covered him up pretty good. 
Man. Uh, I, I don't want you to die anytime soon, so please don't will that into the universe. Neither do okay? I. Stay alive, will you? I got it. I got, I, I got an you Asian got cruise ships to get on to and, new, and an Asian baby to raise. Yeah, yeah. And also... I'm not going to let the internet do it. For the 50th time... <laughs> yes. Uh, people, please watch the special. Uh, yeah. Go to Veeps. Support comics who are making their own content. We had a conversation off camera before this about yep. all these big streamers and Netflix and Amazon and all this stuff, and I think what's, what's tough... These days is there's so much noise that we're trying our on our own now to self produce like you're doing yeah so we can have a little bit of uh, a, a, like a rose coming through the concrete a little bit like you're yeah. trying it's trying to separate yourself because it's super hard it's so saturated right now yeah and but and how often do you get mistaken for Matt Rife I, I forgot to ask that up top <laughs> you guys are kind of the same dude guy. all the time all the time right all with these cheekbones oh my god can you imagine someone going to your live show and they're like what though? I thought that was Matt Rife. <laughs> it's a fucking dwarf. I thought that, I, by the flyer, I thought it was Matt I Rife. I thought it happens so Fuck. often. It's it's really annoying. It's, it's funny just how like, his name has become so embedded in the comedy culture now, particularly yeah. for kids like his age. Like the young the young kids know him the most. I've been a comedian for twenty years. Yeah. No, never. In my life as a comic, have more family and friends asked about him. reached out to me about getting tickets for anybody than Matt Wright. That's wild. They're just calling me like, "So, do you like no Matt?" Like that all all the time. And yes, I know him. There's actually a video right now. It's out. I did a I did a Doctor Phil. Uh, oh, you the, did the Doctor Phil with Adam and him? Yeah. Oh, that's so. Uh, I'm a disgruntled elf. Is there any other kind? And, uh, and no, I'm, actually, and I'm not. And I'm sitting next to Matt Rife. Uh, I don't like as we're recording. I don't know if it's out, but we did it. And uh, yeah, oh, it was a good time with you and Doctor Phil, huh? Yeah. And yeah, it's it'll out. Be, it'll be out right now. By the time it's out, by the time this is out, it'll be out. Yes, exactly. And that and that was so much fun. Your your guys was fun. I watched yours. Bobby and I had a great time. Yeah, you man. Uh, so much. Fun. You did horrible things to Jeremiah Watkins. Yeah, well, dude, you know, what are you going to do? He's there. When in Rome. Got to take advantage of that, kid. That's half of the whole fun, you know? Uh, there he is, dancing around. Yeah, There's cute little Brad dancing around as usual. Oh, and then as soon as the show ended, right right now we're looking at the end, there's like balloons falling. There were there were girls rushing the stage. To Took like, us ahead of Matt. To, yeah, to like just rushing the stage. It's... Well, it takes off some of the onus on you because all the girls that rush your stage, it's kind of nice they're finally rushing his Thank stage. Thank God. They're finally, you know, because now you have the real Matt Rife there. It's like the old joke that uh, Cat Williams had where everyone uh, er, er, everyone thinks the Chrysler is a Rolls-Royce Phantom until a Rolls-Royce Phantom pulls up. That's right. That's Yeah, that's you and Matt Rife. Yeah. Every, everyone <laughs> thinks I'm Matt Rife. Until Matt Rife pulls up, you're like, oh, not a dwarf. Ah, right. Ah, yes, yes, that's yes, yes, Matt yes. Rife. You know, I feel like if we say his name enough times in the podcast, it gets into the algorithm, and then it'll like so. We, right, so that's we, right. Yeah, so we just gotta say Matt Rife a ton, and then we gotta say things like, "How about that Taylor Swift?" There it is. That's oh, very smart as well. Hit episode. Right, you got to be on. Yeah, all you of them. embed all the words that you know are gonna be clickbaity. Yeah, right. Trans rights. That's gotta be in there. Sure. San Francisco for some reason is always trending. Always. That fucking city is uh, is on fire, and I think. No one's going to do anything about it. It's kind of nice for the first time for L.A. to be like the uh, lesser of the two evils. <laughs> yeah, we're like, oh, we're... We're not that bad. We're good. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we <laughs> we have our unhoused, you know, going, whatever, off, dude. going off on fentanyl. Yeah, but like, whatever. Nice. Not like them. Not like them. Uh, we're in a better mood. We're fine. We, we have, have more sun. Yeah, way more. We're we good. have way more sun. Uh, <laughs> do me a huge favor again. Please go watch uh, Brad's new special on Veeps. Yes, sir. Uh, we'll put the link in the description down below. And uh, we end the show the same way. I love you. Thank okay. you for coming. All right, um, hold on. Happy Zip. holidays. No, 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 no. That's when the cameras are off. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, we end the show the same way. You look into that camera right there, and you say one word or one phrase to end the episode. Whenever you're ready, this is going to be embedded in history for the rest of time. Okay. So whenever you're ready, go ahead. Hamster nipples. <laughs> in here... We pour whisk, 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 whisk. You were that creature in the ginger beard. Sturdy and ginger. Like vampires, the ginger gene is a curse. Gingers are beautiful.